Good evening, good evening everyone. Uh, welcome to the Daily Casts. My name's Ed. Uh, thanks ever so much for joining everyone. This is me on this screen. And hello. Oh, I hope everyone's had a lovely Saturday so far. All Yagabites. Good evening, good evening. Um, thanks ever so much for joining. I, I think I know who you are as well. Maybe a, a, a Netrunner community celebrity of your. Yeah, hello. Thanks ever so much for joining. Um, I, I'm looking forward, uh, Yagavite, to your hot takes on the cards uh, Yeah, uh, that aren't cost and biotic, heaven forbid. Um, uh, good evening, Goshi. Good evening, Von Bullpup. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, Sanjay, good evening as well. Grim, hey, hey, hey. Um, I've had a rather unproductive Saturday. I've been sat around. Uh, which has been lovely actually. I've been playing some Football Manager, which is my current hobby of choice. Um, and I watched a really lovely stream actually, uh, and it's worth uh, checking it out. And I'm just going to pull up uh, 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 if my computer. It's Liez in Wonderland. So if you go over to the Green Level uh, Discord, uh, she's just started. She does a um, like a multi-content stream. I can't think what you call it. Um, and she's just started doing a little bit of Netrunner streaming as well. Um, has been playing the game for the last seven or eight years. And uh, yeah, just getting back into the game with the release of Gateway, as excited as we all are. Um, so I really enjoyed that for three hours this afternoon, or this lunchtime. Uh, Sean, good evening, SCD. Jen, good evening as well. Um, so do go and check that out. I, I believe she's streaming tomorrow. Uh, learning how to use Jinteki.net uh, in about 12 hours time, 14 hours time. So that's the announcements out of the way. Uh, I'm joined by my very, very good friend from the future. Um, this being, you know, three days. Yes, exactly, Jeanette. Three days in a row where I've got people that are ahead of me in time. Uh, Ginevra, yeah. thanks ever so much for joining. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, and thanks for waking up early. Uh, I know. I know it's very early yeah. on a Sunday. Um, no I I would certainly be grumpy if I got woken up at that time of day <laughs> on a Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm normally going to bed about that yeah. time on a Sunday. But there we go. Um, Jin, do yeah. you wanna do you wanna tell everyone a little bit about yourself? Um, like we've met running or something. Mm. Or... Oh, Jin, you've suddenly yeah. gone crackly. Um, I don't know if you just want to plug in and unplug your speakers or something. Okay. It was Is just that second. A little bit better or not? No, it's the same. Is that better? No. So what I'll do. Mm. Do you mind? I'm just going to drop and rejoin the call. Um, yeah, no worries. And everyone, yeah, no, we had a perfect signal until um, just then, so... Just wait for Jen to rejoin, uh, Jin to rejoin, and uh, we'll be good to go. Um, this better? Yeah, much better, Jin. Yeah. Time yeah. round. Yeah, perfect. Excellent. Yes. Yeah, as as Jagerbyte said, uh, we're tagged. Clearly, there's a tag on the line from the UK all the way to Australia, I'm, I'm somewhere down the line. Uh, yeah, it makes perfect that. sense. Sorry, I was just asking you, Jen. Um, tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Yeah, okay. Um, I got into card games and Netrunner much more because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Like, stay home and, like, looking at Arkham and then ended up looking at a lot of Team Covenant streaming each day because that was, like, to take my mind off stuff. And yeah. um, they they showed Netrunner, they showed Nisei, I realised it wasn't dead. I kind of heard about it before, like the original one, but um, I hadn't got into it, and so I started, like, watching and seeing as much as I could. Yeah. It was, like, kind of thought I'd wait for System Gateway and System Update to come out, mm -hmm. and so I was waiting, and then they delayed it again. I went, nah, not waiting. <laughs> so I kind of... <laughs> 
a, a bit of the previous stuff as well as kind of waiting for when it comes out. Yeah. So yeah, I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, outside of playing Netrunner, you're one of the admin uh, on the Green Level Discord. That was a bunch of surprises, but very cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, how, how, what what made you sort of get into being an admin on a, a Netrunner server when you played about five games for Netrunner at the time? Someone nominated me. I have a suspicion who, but someone nominated me. And, okay. like, if people wanted me to do that, yeah, definitely. Yeah, fabulous. I, I really love like, community, so that's, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so it's myself, Dajul, and uh, Ginevra, the three admins, uh, supported by uh, Captain Nice, by Weeble, by Netpunner, and by Mike Miek, who was on last night. Um, and together, we run the Green of Discord uh, server. The admin team's quite well balanced in that sort of Dajul does all the decision making, he's the big boss. I'm kind of like the sporadic, like excitable, heaven forbid, um, you know, uh, ideas guy. Uh, I'm like, oh, we should do this, we should do this, we should. And then Ginevra's like the kind of more common sense. We could do that, but let's do it this way. It's much better. <laughs> Ed, why don't you stop and think, give it 12 hours, and then we'll do it. Yes, uh, Jen in the chat saying, Ed, excitable shock. Um, it's yeah. like they know me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um, 12 hours for me to wake up again. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that as well, isn't it? Find out uh, what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, work, it works very well together. And we've got some, some things in the works. Uh, I know we talked about it. I talked about it with Dajul last week or the week before on stream. And um, yeah, we've got some exciting stuff that we're, we're, we're sort of working through. And we've been working through over the last few days. Um, so hopefully it's something within the next month you'll see some big changes on the Green Level Clearance Discord. But certainly some medium-sized ones. Um, speaking of medium-sized things, Jen, here's a medium-sized agenda for you. Yes. So very, uh, very much super thanks to the Slums cast for letting us out. Uh, pick up these cards today uh, thanks to Orbital and Pants uh, if you haven't listened by the way I said this yesterday but I'm going to be very very clear on this if you haven't listened to the Slums Cast podcast yet and you are interested in any games at all you should be going straight over there when my stream finishes and having a listen it was um, uh, June joined them June Cuervo the uh, Nisei lead design and just talking about how to design a board game, how to design a card game, and the future of Netrunner and Nisei, and where June wants to take the game, was absolutely fascinating. Really, really interesting. It was a high quality podcast, and I can't recommend it enough. Um, and they talked about the cards as well, which was great. Um, so yeah, speaking of mid-range genders, we've got a thanks for the follow, by the way, Repo Rogue. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, thanks for joining Swan as well. Um, yeah, so we've got longe longevity serum, longevity, longevity serum. It's a three-two agenda. It's a research agenda. Uh, whether that will ever be relevant, who knows? Uh, Zeroff, thanks for joining, Phil. Research agenda. When you score this agenda, trash any number of cards from HQ. Shuffle up to three cards from archives into R and D. Limit one per deck. Flavor text. We make you a new. Jin, what was your initial takes on this card? Um, that it's a three-two because I enjoy them more, um, mm -hmm. and like a bit quicker to deal with. They're not like as long and stressful as like five-three or something like that. Yeah, I guess I was thinking it's nice that you can trash first. And then choose the things from archive rather than the other way around. That's reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it's it's part of the like being more archives things for Jintaki, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, obviously it, it fits in very well with the restoring humanity ID. In that, at the end of your turn, yeah. 
you can score the agenda and at the end of your turn you're going to uh, gain a credit I've forgotten restoring humanity it's not it's not if it's upside right. down or something like that then you get yeah exactly so you can trash your card put stuff upside down gain value from it in addition yeah. the cards that the runners turn face up that's still in there you then get back again um, so we all know we all know that uh, the recursion is excellent um, you can never advance this um, yeah, whether you trick of lighting it you can score it in a turn quite easily three twos are always powerful um, downside obviously being it's a limit one per deck so you can't rely on it uh, but with Flotic rotating sad times um, this fills the slot quite nicely although arguably not as strong as Flotic um, well not with the punishment to the runner or anything so yeah it's, it's not a punisher card it's a forward tempo card um, yeah I, I think that's really reasonable uh, in the chat we've got uh, Chris saying never advance is so wholesome uh, uh, we've got Jason uh, Jason is Jagabyte by the way uh, Jin, I don't know you, I know you're quite new to the uh, I know you're quite yeah. new to the game if you ever get a chance to see uh, Jagabyte Jagabyte's um, uh, stream and videos they're, they're quite wonderful he's a, a bit of a legend in the community for some excellent excellent uh, high quality content um, so the problem that I have is all the, it, it, the problem I have is that it's, it's all playable right now yeah absolutely uh, very excited to play with all the cards um, uh, thanks for the fish references why is it a fish I like the fish that appears when someone subscribes oh is there a fish that pops up when someone subscribes that's cool yes uh, very yes. nice oh, I'm happy about that like fish yeah no do definitely watch it will hurt your brain but that's uh, useful uh, it, it's uh, it, it's uh, it's character building watching <laughs> no but really entertaining really entertaining stuff well worth checking out um, yeah I, I don't think there's tons to talk about here um, look recursion's good preemptive action's good card right preemptive action probably slots in I would say like 40 to 50% of decks um, getting preemptive a action attached to a card that also triggers your ID and you're scoring a 3-2 mm -hmm. out I, I think all of those are really good things um, uh, and I, I like the idea of we make you a new and it being called longevity serum you know it's like it is the same new same you but it's like a new you that's the same you yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I, the, I the person looking at themselves or if it's a person looking at themselves it's a bit upside down and stuff yeah cool yeah very cool um, mm -hmm. I, I was saying the other day uh, when we had this on the creative director I was saying I really like these short punchy flavor texts um, and he was saying this cycle of three twos the flavor text is kind of like what an outside observer might say about the faction so we make you a new is kind cool. of what Jinteki is all about um, but not necessarily their mission statement like some of them are a little bit more negative than others but yeah so I just thought it was a really, really nice little touch that so the next one July Bug uh, July Bug is a zero to res asset ambush you can advance this asset when the runner accesses this asset on the screen? yeah got it on the screen July Bug oh oh you mean the yeah. real name, Ertica Cipher? Oh, uh, Ertica Cipher. Right. This one had such good drill. Should we go and have a look at some drill shit posting? Um, so, uh, by the way, as well, very, very, very important here. What a awful, awful reveal uh, by the Slums cast. Having drill <laughs> reveal the cards. Um, it was harrowing, it was stressful. Um, Heaven forbid it meant people had to listen to their podcast. Um, uh, we're just loading up. My computer's running extremely slowly. It needs updates. And I've... Uh... Bushy, good evening. Thanks for joining just while I'm loading up. You can see this is really slow loading. Um, Semi-co-op. We'll have a look at those cards tomorrow. Docklands is a card I'm very excited about. And... So the drill quote on this one was, 
I vow to continue improving my posture until my chest consumes the earth. Back from 2014. It's like real, real old school drill. Um, lovely to see. Thanks for uh, wasting 30 seconds of everyone's time there, Phil. Um, Vern, good evening. Yes, yeah, slow running. A little bit slow running this evening. My computer needs uh, a lie down. Um, yeah, so sorry. Ertica Cypher. We're back here. So it's a, an asset. When it's installed, if the runner access it, it does two net damage plus one net damage for each, each hosted advancement counter to to trash to influence gin is this or is this not a better june bug this is good as june bug but you get something is it you get something even if you didn't advance it yes in tacky's point of view yeah that's cool so like it's better uh, yeah here's like perfect here goshi saying it's better in a world without mission so when you're not mission motioning out things out with three advancement counters on them, this is better. You don't have to pay to do the damage. Um, it does two net yes. damage without counters. Um, yeah, less splashable because it's higher influence. Um, yeah. Still not impossible. No, no, it's not. At, at two, you're absolutely right. At two influence, it's not impossible. I don't think you will see it splashed, um, but certainly its home is going to be in PE. I think. Yeah, costs two to trash as well, which is interesting. I wonder if that's relevant at all. Where's the June bug? I've forgotten how much that is to trash. So June bug, I think, is zero to trash. I believe zero to trash, mm. and then. Uh, it's two credits, deal two net damage for each advancement counter. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm glad there's a trap. I'm glad there's a trap in Gateway. I think it's important for new players to learn that they might die on occasion. They have to watch out. They can't just run willy nilly and access cards as and when they fancy. Um,. You can also play with trying to get it to work with Trick of the Light and moving counters around and stuff. Definitely, definitely, definitely. And the, and the fact that it's two credits to trash, um, there is that classic thing where when you access a uh, access a trap, you can just leave it on the board. Uh, you, know, you, you might want to think twice. Um, you can still Trick of Light those counters across. Um, yeah. You can red planet couriers if you're feeling really spicy. Install iberth, install other card, res, advance. Make a Rococo to kill deck with it. Yeah, absolutely. You could definitely do a Rococo kill deck here. Um, and Rococo probably looking for a new home now that Titan's banned. Um, I always like spicy Rococo decks anyway. Uh, I quite like Chief Slee decks. Uh, my good friend Byron Wu is an expert at making Chief Slee decks in every single ID, I believe now. <laughs> um, yeah, but but a ton of fun uh, to play. Um, the flavour text here. So, so, yeah, I know that's amazing. That's so good. <laughs> yeah. So so I, horrible and so, so good. <laughs> so I know you you're a you're a big fan of like the lore of Netrunner, aren't you, Jin? Yes. Yeah, I love finding out more about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this, this says a novel spin off of Kronos Tech was admixing sensitive data with ethically sourced brain images of injured staff. Few intruders can handle a thousand years of skin burns in one moment. Uh, I, I like the kind of thousand years of skin burns, a thousand cuts reference there. Like it, it is very knowing. Um, yeah. I also really... love the ethically sourced, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ethically sourced brain images of injured staff. Mm. Ethically yes. sourced, mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it is. It's a ton of fun. Kind of, uh, kind of curious what's going on in the the picture. Like, is didn't know that the world kind of has. I thought it was mainly human scale. I didn't know it had extra big, kind of. If that's a person in the glass, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm unsure to be honest. Um, it does look like a person in the are glass. They, they're the sort of concentrated 
skin burns or what? Could be. Uh, I'm not quite sure. What is I'm Ertica? making up my own story. I think what, we need, to, what we need to really know is what is Ertica. Oh, Ertica's like a nettle. Is yeah, I knew that. I, I remember that when the name change happened. Yeah. So, like, yeah, net, nettles. Ertica is like the common nettle. Um, so, yeah, hence the sort of the skin burn stuff. And don't touch it, it's going to hurt you. Um, I do like the name. Yeah. I do like the name. Um, cool. Uh, anything else you wanted to talk about on Ertica? Oh, I like the. In this one and the other one, they're wearing kind of. Two of them are wearing some sort of head thing. I'm curious uh, yeah, about the head thing, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're kind of looking through a window on a window, I reckon. Well, here, yeah. It's are definitely... we going to get to it? No. And we know, we know this is a, a two part card oh here yeah here's the second i mean the second parts at the bottom here but I, again sort of mentioned this a few times but the david lee cards a mm. two-part um art which i think is really great and uh endless amounts of playmat potential as well with some of these cards oh so, yes but, but I, I like the awesome. kind of the reveal of the story over two cards and the, like the the panoramic scene that you get from doing the art in two parts it's really cool i, I like i love it um Cool, right. Karuna. Karuna is a card that I wrote the article about. Um, I've got an article coming out, a little bit of a, a little bit of a press release uh, brief. I've got an article coming out next week. I'll be talking about uh, sentries and killers, and one of them was Karuna. Um, now, obviously, uh, Somsnet got to pick what cards they wanted to talk about in faction and. Uh, they picked out Karuna, which I think is a great choice. Um, so I did a, a quick rewrite of my article last night, not for last, um, and I've got a different century that I'm talking about instead, but something to look forward to. Uh, so Karuna is a four to res, three strength ice. The first ice I think we've seen through Gateway, unless I'm yeah. being daft. Um, so worth noting that this is kind of the the direction that ice might be going um, when you assess this card. So it's a sentry, it's an AP sentry. Um, two subroutines. First subroutine, do two net damage, the runner may jack out. And second subroutine, do two net damage. Uh, flavor text, you did not escape, you were shown mercy. Which I think is fab. Um, just a little bit of like, uh, it means compassion, Karuna means compassion. Um, I, I did a bit of research when I was writing the article and stuff um, and I suppose you've got like this kind of like Buddhist it, it's like a, a Buddhist thing it might be one of the eight noble eightfold path um, in both Sanskrit and Pali it's generally translated as compassion and self-compassion oh interesting thanks Jen um, yeah yeah uh, it's not very compassionate. Was, yeah. Would you say it's compassionate? Letting it the runner, ju runner jack out halfway right. through? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Sort of. I mean, as compassionate maybe as Jinteki gets, which is like be saying something about Jinteki. Uh, aren't Jinteki the good you, guys? So, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> um, for the runner, like... You do get two net damage, but then you could avoid the second one if you wanted it. For sure. But how's it going? Yeah. Yeah, and I suppose it's on the runner. Do you do you want to be compassionate to yourself, or do you want to go through with it all the way? Mm. <laughs> hey, look, I've given you a choice. I'm letting you jack out if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I don't know if you want to but just. Also pop, then I don't got... know if you want to pop down Twitch. Maybe just one or two. I just, I think I, as I get louder, you can actually hear me, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, that's cool. Thanks, Jen. Oh no, you've turned yourself down. Ginevra. Yeah? Yeah, there you are. What's happened? No, I didn't change oh. anything. Oh, I lost you for a bit. I thought... You you good. Um, so chat, 
Chat, what do we think about this? Let's uh, let's have a look. Is this better than Sides of Tan or Engram in any scenario? Um, I don't think one, I think it's worth noting. I don't think Engram flushes long for this world. Um, I just don't. It's the best card. Better than Slot Machine, two best dice in the game. And it's pretty obvious that mm. there's going to be bands looked at. Um, is it better than Sides of Tan is the, the big question. Um, I don't know what people's thoughts are on that. Uh, SCD saying it's basically a neural katana replacement, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's a neural katana replacement, but it's got two subs instead, um, which is great for the beginner game, good for teaching. Yeah, you've not got that feel bad thing if you run into this and you die. Um, you can run into yeah. it, get hurt, and jack out, and you don't lose the game. At the same time, you can run through it and take four net damage. And I think. I think it's maybe also slightly over about... Sorry, Jen. Sorry. I'm going to specifically learn about jacking out because, mm -hmm. um, like, it's inviting you to, so you you can then go, oh, well, normally you wouldn't at this point, but mm. you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. also cool. Yeah, yeah. No, normally you have to let all the subroutines fire. And it, it just, mm. it's like a, it's a subconscious prompt that, oh, wait a minute, I don't have to run through all these things. I can jack out at any point. And, yeah, well, I can jack out between ice. And, look, I can jack out halfway through this ice as well. Weeble, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, I, I agree with that. I never like that size 10 can kill even on a full hand. Um, it feels yeah, just a little bit too strong. Um, although, generally, size and 10 is bad when it's good. It's either a bad ice or it's a game winning ice it's never in between and I play tested quite a lot of size 10 uh, in RP last year and I ended up cutting it uh, because if it wins great but most of the time it's dead ice um, and I don't think this is ever dead ice at 3 strength um, at 3 strength and 2 subroutines you have to break it and some breakers will not enjoy breaking a three strength uh, two sub routine um, MK Ultra is one that I'm particularly thinking of uh, mm. irritating to pay three credits to get through this every time uh, yeah generally speaking I think it's, a, it's interesting card design um, it's very simple for a beginner to work out what's going on with this um and at the same time, there's there's moments where it's going to create interesting uh, interesting moments within the game, where the runner takes two net damage, and then thinks, "Can I take two more net damage? That's going to put me on one card," yeah. and and that's always exciting. Yeah. Um, and creating exciting moments in a game is good. And more important than having overpower cards, I would say. That's my thoughts. Chris saying it's probably better as a card tax in PE. Um, yeah. Yeah, a, a cool card. I like the art. I think the art's very different. Um, and I like the kind of light effect that's going on on this. It's, uh, it's not something I've really seen much of before. Uh, I think it's a ton of fun. Uh, and I'm liking the fact that all these Jinteki cards so far are, you know, two influence. Well, these couple of Jinteki cards are two influence, and uh, hand side review is one influence. You can certainly see these cards in other places as well. Um, mm. Yeah. Last card. And stuff, yeah. Last card for this evening, and I uh, orbital. Thanks for joining. I was promised. I came for the smut. I was promised smut. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, <laughs> Sorry. I'm not, I'm not feeling. I'm not feeling not today. that way inclined today. I wrote a thousand words of uh, Loop Steve slash Vic last night. Um, I've only they're not banging yet, so um, that's to come. Uh, but yeah, uh, they're at a point where I can have a few drinks and uh, enjoy myself. Uh, writing the next thousand words which is good I've set myself up for a fun evening at some point um, speaking of cards 
rather than speaking of slash feck. Um, uh, did you know, fun fact everyone, Xeroth Maxima in the chat um, auditioned for Breakback Mountain. There we go. Oh. Fun fact. Um, Hansai Review. Hansai Review is a five cost operation. It's a transaction. Um, uh, useful in because we built it. Uh, so Hansai Review is gain 10 credits. If there are any cards in HQ, trash one of them. Flavor text. Constant self-reflection is the key to excellence. We remember failed ideas, but do not carry them forward. Which is great. This is from Direct Cass Unknown Leadership Seminar. Um, we remember failed ideas, but do not carry them forward. It's like super thematic, I think. What do you think, Jin? Yeah, you know, the idea of like foul so, ideas. You also, trash them. like Hansei reviews like um, self reflection, like as part of um, study management and those sorts of things. It's like exam. I think it is actually a thing where you're meant to examine the things that have gone wrong so that you don't repeat them. Uh, okay. Thing. That's cool. It's uh, part of that. Um, like the Japanese or to- Toyota um, kind of inspired quality review stuff. Yeah, yeah um, like self reflection and you know self improvement yeah. through looking back at mistakes to move yeah, forward. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool. I didn't know so, that. Yeah, that's fair. Um, and, and really thematic with this card. Look, I think this card is straight up great. I think you will see it everywhere. Yeah. Um, it is better than hedge fund most of the time um, as long as you are finding a way of recurring cards if you need to or taking advantage of cards being in archives which there are a variety of ways to uh, with the new HB cards with um, what was the first card we looked at I'm very bad at names with longevity serum uh, with the Restoring Humanity ID as well. Uh, I think there's a ton of way to recycle cards back and to take advantage of cards being in archives. Um, so you are potentially adding value by throwing cards in archives. Certainly not losing value. Uh, you're clearing your hand out so you can draw more cards um, and you gain five credits net rather than four credits net. Tell me why this card is not incredible, Jen. I don't have that answer. Sorry. No, that's fine. I think it's cool. It is cool. You're absolutely right. <laughs> it's very good. Um, I think it's not a terminal. Yeah, go she in the chat saying it's not a terminal as well, so it's strictly better Thanks. than like IPA. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I stuff up IPO every single time. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It happens to the best of us. Um, preemptive action as well. I often stuff up. Um, and I'm too yeah. proud. I'm too proud not to, uh, to to pretend I made a mistake. You just say like, I'll go with it. Whatever. Yeah, no, that's, what I, that's what I meant to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. Yeah. Just take the cards back. You'll go. That click. No. Didn't need that click. No, absolutely not. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> yeah, g- genotyping isn't at the terminal, um, but it's certainly you can play. You can play this and then play a preemptive, and you get that card back into your deck. So, okay, this is. Uh, not a card I need in my hand at the moment. It's one I need in the future. I'll drop that for now. Hands are review. Great value on hands are review. And then I'll preemptive it back into the deck and we're good to go again. So uh, I think the card's wild. And it's a transaction, which means it works in because we built it. And uh, and it's part of this two part, uh, the two part ice, uh, the two part uh, art, sorry. Uh, so we can see what's going on, and we've got like I a variety of carnivorous yeah. plants in the background. It appears. Yeah. yeah. Maybe some snares. Yeah, it could quite possibly be a snare there, couldn't it? And maybe a, a lotus field in the in the middle, perhaps. Yeah. Um, I don't know what a sundew looks like, but I it wouldn't be surprised if it was a sundew. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, look at that! The cards are kind of more spiky looking. Mm. 
Is that could that one on the left be a Sanji, or am I just being really optimistic because I'd like Sanji? Oh, yeah. maybe. Yeah, it's possible. It feels like it's a possible. a class of uh, any botanists out there if they'd like to uh, clarify what plants these are. Um, so it's like Jinteki, so it could be like some DNA combination. You don't know what. Mm-hmm. Like, Since DNA modification is a card. Yeah. Um, what have I got going on in the chat? Very and chatty this be. evening, everyone. Very chatty amongst yourselves, which is lovely to see. Um, uh, Yagbite saying, <laughs> I'm not getting drunk to stop recursion again. No one wants that. Uh, Repo <laughs> is saying, a discard is for sure a real cost, at least some of the time. Yeah, but maybe a discard versus a credit. I, there's a lot of times where you're going to be discarding and it's better than having a credit. Um, also well, depends how much you're drawing extra. Phew. That's very true. Yeah, yeah. If you because if you're overdrawing anyway, if you're turtling up and overdrawing anyway, maybe getting value out of that discard is useful. Um, discard in the new Jinteki design space helps Jinteki exactly. Yeah, exactly that. Um, having discard in that design space means design going forward can use discard for a variety of different abilities mm. not just for financial but do all sorts of stuff with discarding cards um, uh, Reaper Oak saying yeah I was saying above that this card encourages you to dig for stuff and then use it last click to pinch, pitch the things you're going to pitch anyway so, yeah it's perfect um, yeah and the archive design space certainly been overlooked previously um, and I'm personally I'm hoping that more is done with archives uh, yeah it's an interesting it's an interesting idea uh, forcing the runner to run archives uh, maybe some traps in archives would be nice at some point SCD I totally agree rip crick um, does the new ID fire at the end of your turn yeah Goshi yeah it does it fires at the end of your turn yes so it's 11 credits in the new ID, uh, assuming a clean archives. Yeah, exactly that. Uh, click for uh, five cost, gain 11 is really quite strong. Net six credits. Um, yeah, in testing, this was this was lower gain and lower cost. Um, uh, history will show like. whether the numbers are better now, but yeah. Oh, right. Do you reckon it's in like most Jinteki decks? I think it's in every single. And if you're Jintaki not, the deck, new, yeah. the new ID, all of them, kind of. I, I think all Jinteki decks will be running this. So the alternative celebrity gift, you can play both. By the way, bear in mind you don't have to pick one or the other. Um, I've never liked celebrity gift personally. Uh, but it's been the only choice really the only sensible choice I'm sure people in the chat are going to start spamming out bad econ cards but uh, um, Celebrity Gifts has been the sort of the, the most played uh, econ card in faction um, and it just feels wrong showing the runner what cards you've got in hand they're never going to do anything apart from gain value from knowing um, what's in your hand? I should have a particularly bad hand. <laughs> yeah, bad had a good hand. You might think you're losing the runner by showing five cards out of six or four cards out of five. You should try having bad uh, cards in hand. Yeah, if you've got And I know hand. there's something interesting in the other ones. Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yeah, you might think you're losing them, but they still know there's one unknown card, and there's a reason why you haven't shown them that card. Uh, I love showing agendas and snares. Yeah. Don't disagree. It's fun to show. I've got two agendas and two snares in hand. What are you going to do about it? Um, yeah. Uh, gifts a good card. It shows some techie, forced techie to show hand. Um, yeah, Chris saying gifts not a bad card is a slightly inefficient but powerful card. Yeah, the numbers on it are good, but I, I've never been a massive fan. Personal take. Um, I think Hanso Review for me replaces that slot in all Shinteki decks. Uh, others may disagree. Yeah, um, yeah no, Sean saying uh, this is definitely better. I, yeah. we'll, we'll wait and see. 
people well, might both. find that there's ways playing around it. I think hands eye review of the four cards is by far and away going to get the most play. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's you're going to have to have a good reason not to slot longevity serum. Um, that's because life is classic. Yeah. A classic Jinteki trap, and Karun is a good learner card that just might get splashed around occasionally as a one-off uh, in standard, and probably quite strong in startup. Yeah. Waiting to see what the breakers are, of course. Um, yeah, Jin, have you played a lot? Just of wanted Jinteki? to say, bit but not heaps. Okay, cool. A little bit. Hmm. Certainly, I enjoy the the traps and stuff like that. Like, yeah, so I'm does. happy there's more traps. Yeah, absolutely. Going to say about the art for um, Hanse. Yes. Um, I really like that. They're kind of wearing masks, and also like those face shield things. Oh yeah. I'm kind of like yeah. like the reflection of like. This was made in the context of last year when, like, masks and face shields became a thing. That's a very fair <laughs> point, actually. Every... Yeah. I'm trying to... I'm, I'm I really crap. like that bit. I'm crap at working out how these things work. I also, Let's zoom in. loved the air conditioner. Being oh, almost yeah. in the centre of the air conditioner. Oh, uh, yeah. It's so, like, it just makes it so much more realistic, like, that yeah. you've got this and not aesthetic thing right in almost in the middle <laughs> like front with and center with the beautiful flowers yeah, yeah with the beautiful flowers and the greenery in the background <laughs> that's such a lovely <laughs> spot there oh i really like that yeah 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 yeah, um, yeah. yeah you got that, that really wall cool. of plants and it's all very healthy and it's all very natural yeah. beautiful and the work they're doing is you know, very intelligent and uh you know pushing <laughs> boundaries and then you've got a big aircon unit banging in the middle. <laughs> it's funny, yeah. 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 I really like that. <laughs> I really, really like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm gonna yeah. be looking for little snippets like that in David Lee's art more. Um, yes. Yeah, so good spot there. That's really cool. It's very cool. Yeah. Um, Jen, is there anything else you wanted to talk about this evening? Or morning, sorry. <laughs> Not that I can think of. Anything else you wanted to do? Um, posture. Posture, don't be like that. Phil. Oh, yeah, no, I'll tell you what I do want to do. I want to show everyone my T-shirt. Right? I've had this for a few years, um, and this T-shirt is one of my favourites. Uh, look at this. Lovely T-shirt. It's, uh, yeah. it's very, very cool. Um, and my posture is terrible, I agree, and I need to uh, work on that. <laughs> Uh, remind me. Uh, anything else? We know IG's rotated, right? Yeah, we get to the smut. Yeah, it is It is a little bit smutty. Um, it does say things like, I am drugs on it. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, it's really cool. Uh, thanks everyone for joining this evening. Um, tomorrow, we've got a beginner stream uh, with Jin, our friend, Netpunner. Netpun is going to be cool. learning how to play Netrunner. We may or may not be joined by Dershaw. On stream. On stream. Yeah, because look, what's the best place to learn how to play Netrunner? On stream. And so we bullied uh, Netpunner into learning how to play finally, having put it off for the last six <laughs> months. Um, and so that should be really exciting. Cool. I think it's cool that the... You know, Discord doesn't have like all people who are really, really experienced. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah, I totally agree, and it, it means that you get a range of takes, and uh, yeah, much like this stream, I've tried yeah. to get a variety of abilities from yeah. from myself up to you know, I've had White Blade on, for example, or Mike last night, uh, and everything in between as well. Um, yeah, yeah, in the full spectrum, because everyone's got a different opinion, and everyone plays the mm. game for different reasons and mm. uh, all are relevant and all are important uh, if they say a company then ultimately people buy their game for different reasons and therefore they need to appeal to all the people mm. um, so yeah 
It'd be really yeah, interesting. At different times really and stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course they joined at different times. Some people, I'm looking at Swan, I'm looking at uh, SCD here, have been here right from the start, all the way through to uh, you know people that are playing their first game when Gateway comes out. So it's it's fun. It, it's fun. Um, yeah, right. Is there anyone I should raid this evening? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna take twenty seconds to see if anyone is streaming because I'm very bad at raids and. Uh, and Mr. Cowbird, aka Sanjay, always raids. And no, there's no one streaming, so I don't feel too bad. Um, if Sanjay does decide to do an impromptu stream, do keep an eye out for Mr. Cowbird's stream, and that will be my version of raiding. Jin, thanks ever so much for joining this evening, morning. Thank you. you have a lovely day. I'm going to go and eat chicken Kievs with sweet potato mash and some sauteed munch tea. That's and that's going to be delicious. You take care, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye, bye-bye.